Right, Installer Show 2025 on the Oso stand with David Wilkes. David, this is a brand new product and a lot of hype about it. Can you talk us through it, please, mate? Well, it's called the um, Ozo Mini Store, and we've made it with Heat Geek, so it's sort of like the Ozo um, Heat Geek Mini Store unit. What it is, is um, obviously it's very small, and the job of this unit is to basically um, replace a combi boiler. So it has to go into the space that is previously occupied by a combi boiler. So um, obviously, yep. there are a lot of combi boilers in the country, and 73% or thereabouts of the homes in the UK are in right. the bathroom. So this is obviously a massive factor, obviously going from a heat pump, yep. from a combi to a heat pump. Yeah. So that, that's the, exactly the... the they've typically here. lost their, their airing cupboard. They've either got the combi in it or the combi's in the kitchen and they've used the airing cupboard for storage. So, yeah, yeah. so where can this unit go? So this would theoretically go into the area that was previously occupied by a combi. And we've had to make it very small. As you'll see, it's actually got firm leak insulation on the outside. This is a special thermal uh, in, uh, insulation, which has got extremely uh, great heat retention properties. But the idea is that it's going to fit in the space that was previously occupied by the combi, and that's the limitations and the, the design parameters that we've worked with it. Um, this is a, a unit that was previously and, and is currently still available from the gig. It's their design. Yeah. It's just to refine it right. and um, uh, look into the feasibility of mass producing it. And that's absolutely what we do. We're in Norway. We make high quality um, units, uh, which are made by robots. Uh, we can make, you know, yeah. hundreds and hundreds of these in a day. It's it's something that we are really, uh, you know, really to fetch you know, strong out. Yeah, so this comes, is it three sizes this one comes in? Can you talk us through the sizes? Yeah, so we're going to do, a, uh, this is a 60. Mm -hmm. Is it the smallest? This is the smallest. Yeah. So okay. we do a 60, we do an 80, and there's going to be a larger one, which I think is the 130. Right. Um, I, the reason I don't know is because it's still at the, at, at the prototype stage. Sure. But the idea is that this would do uh, a property that's just got a shower. Uh, the next one up would probably do, you know, we're aiming for that to fill a bath. Mm -hmm. And the large one would do a bathroom shower. Yeah. Let's see. So uh, if you've got a bathroom with an on suite. Um, but again, keeping it within the design parameters that, that we want. We don't want to make it too, too, too large. Right. So obviously, I don't want to quiz you too much on numbers because I know it's very early on in its lifetime. But have you got like any sort of reheat sizes and sort of ecology? The key thing we know with heat pumps is to try and get as low a flow temp as possible. Well, obviously, there's going to be a bit of a compromise if we're going for this sort of system because there's not physically the volume of stored water. So this is a thermal store, is that correct? That is right. So how does that work differently compared to a conventional cylinder? So it's basically the reverse in that the, uh, the stored water is primary water. So this is going to be at the, the stored water will be at temperature of the primary circuit. Right. And the um, cold water will go through a massive coil. Uh, it's a double wound heat exchanger. Right. That massive surface area. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will get bigger on the, on the bigger units. Yeah. Um, but it's going to work like a combi in that there is no hot water whatsoever stored. No. Mm -hmm. We'll make it instantly as there is demand. Right. Brilliant. And then. When will we be able to get our hands on these is the most important question. Well, that's a really good question and one that I cannot answer yeah. on that I would like to say. I, I, I think realistically, um, possibly the earliest would be probably the beginning of next year. Right, it would, it, 20, you know, 26. Try and uh, under-promise and over-delivering yeah. out quicker, but I would think realistically, uh, because of the uh, uh, you know the obligations that we got manufacturing already finding a swap but it's something that is uh, has been prioritized absolutely yeah, brilliant quickly so i mean the ozo brand overall i mean i love the product it's a high end of premiums and they're probably the best on the market where does that ethos come from i mean i've been to sort of scandinavia a few times i'm always i always come away really impressed with the manufacturing it seems to be the few that I've sort of dealt with, SB and such, like, have all got very family-driven values. And, that, and you can see that that sort of spills over when they come over here. So, I mean, where does that sort of stem from? Well, we're still independent. We're a family-owned company. Um, the um, environmental uh, credentials of the, of, of the factory and the company are absolutely top class. Um, really kind of the UK to shame in a lot of cases. You know, it, it, it's such uh, an environmentally conscious company, minimal wastage and, you know, m manufacturing products that are going to last for a long time, making a very, very high quality stuff. We use a thicker steel, 
We use very high grade steel. Um, you know, we want we want these items to last a long time. You know, our reputation stands and falls on yeah. reliability. And you know, we're, and, and we're also innovators, and we we like to think that we do push. Um, you know, um, technology as far as we can in the world of heating. Yeah. Um, Arena. I mean, it's testament to you guys as well, the the OEM partners you work with. It's all, again, the higher ends, the specialists, the premium brands. So I think that's testament in itself. Can you mention some of the um, some of the companies you work with? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's um, very large um, global brands such as Panasonic, Daikin, and Schutz. Okay, for golf. Smarty. Ah. And just in case you didn't know, we are, it's now open. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so so we we we, we are, are are trading with some, some very very yeah. uh, and very you know, household names. So can we say there's a good chance this is going to be the future of hot water for a lot of homes in the UK moving over to heat pumps? Well, yeah, you know, if 73 percent of the homes, which you know, it's not my study, but it's it's something that we've looked into, and, and there is evidence to say 73 percent of the homes have got. A single bathroom, and there's going to be a large of the remaining um, percentage. There's going to be a lot of those who uh, have got maybe an ensuite. If you can um, satisfy the hot water needs with this product, all those, it doesn't leave a lot for the larger stuff because you know we've, we use a different technology here. Uh, and why should you have a massive cylinder yeah. of hot water if, if you can do it? Uh, you know, create that hot water very, very quickly. There are some other fantastic benefits with this in that you don't need an expansion vessel, you don't need a discharge pine, and you don't need uh, a lot of the paraphernalia that would go with it. Just to touch on that, so in a, in a flat or somewhere like that, that's a massive plus one. From an installer point of view for myself, you know, not having to run a discharge on a retrofit project is a big win. Absolutely. Yeah. It is a, it's kind of a what's not to like product, which is as a salesperson, yeah. it's just like God's gift really. It is a phenomenal uh, product. And I can say that without the Ozo hat on. I can yeah. also say that because we didn't actually come up with all of the technology for it. It was yeah. else's idea. And yeah. Very, very, very privileged and proud to be working alongside Heat Geek, who are at, really at the cutting edge of what's going on at the moment. And they chose us. Uh, to live with them and I'm very proud of that. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So if guys want to find out more, where's the best place to send them? Is it website? Yeah, at the moment it's not shown on our website. We, we purposefully didn't put any data on it. We didn't, we didn't tell anybody we were going to launch this year. Um, we've been inundated with interest for this product. I think right. probably 50% of the people who've been on the stand want to talk about this. It's quite clear it's going to make a, 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 a quite significant impact. Right. Um, so, yeah. So when the time comes, it's just go to your trusted uh, merchant. So, uh, merchant. well, obviously you can contact us uh, through the website, um, local area managers, numbers, email addresses, everything's there. We'll just contact the, the office directly. Um, we're not hard to get hold of. Uh, there's hardly any merchant in the country that doesn't deal with us. So, um, you know, it's just an inquiry, wherever it's convenient, drop us a line and um, we'll start delivering data out to people about um, or preview information on performance and prices, of course, because yeah. that is important. But I, I would say that the price point for this is is affordable. This is right. three and a half thousand pounds or anything ridiculous like that. Then it's an affordable product. So, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will get some significant places. Sounds like an exciting time ahead. David, thank you very much for your time.